Hello everyone, this is Arshani from Chinta.com. Today we have a very interesting problem. It's simple, but it also shows an application of something called barycentric coordinates. Of course, it can be solved without it, but I will show you both solutions. Barycentric coordinates can have very useful applications in this sort of problems. So let's get started. This particular problem says that we have a triangle ABC. This is any triangle. And E is the midpoint of AC. So BE is the median. And A is median. We also have O, which is the midpoint of BE. So, O is midpoint of B. Join AO and produce it to meet BC at D. So, this is the final point. So, AO produced meets BC at D. Okay? So, the question is this, what is the ratio of AO is to OD? What is the ratio of AO is to OD? That's the question. Now, um, first, I will give you the barycentric coordinate proof. Barycentric coordinate. So, we discuss it in more detail in the Math Olympiad Pro programs at Chinta. You can check the link in the descriptions for more information on that. But here, I will just give you an overview. Okay. So, you have to imagine AC as a seesaw. Okay. And F and E is the point where the fulcrum is. So, it's a seesaw and E is the point where the fulcrum is. So, E is the fulcrum point. The question is, what weights should I put at A and C so that this fulcrum is balanced? So, notice that the principle here is quite simple. Uh, let, me, let me draw this picture somewhere here. Let's copy this one. The principle is very simple. The weight, so the, let's call this one length 1 and length 2 and this one as weight 1 and weight 2. Right? So, weight 1 into length 1 should be equal to weight 2 into length 2. So, that's the simple principle of livers in some sense. So, since length 1 and length 2 are equal in this particular case, they are equal. Therefore, W1 is also equal to W2. The two weights must also be equal. So, let's put the weights X and X here x here and x here okay all right so now imagine that the entire weight of that seesaw so x and x the total weight is 2x is concentrated at the fulcrum so now the weight at the fulcrum is 2x because that actually represents the entire weight of the of that particular bar ac so, the point O, now think about the fulcrum at the point O. The point O is the midpoint. The point O is the midpoint of BE. So, if this one is 2x, then the weight at B must also be 2x to make sure that that particular segment is balanced about O. So, the weight is 2x again, which means 
that the weight at D is 3x. Isn't it? Because the weight at B is 2x, weight at X, uh, C is x. So now you are imagining that the entire weight of BC is concentrated at the point D. So it's 3x. So we are almost done. We have to find out the length of AO is to OD. So what do we know? We know that the entire system is balanced about O. So the principle of levers apply again. So AO into X. Let me write that in this color. AO times X is equal to OD times 3X. So now you know what is AO over OD, right? AO over OD is equals to 3X over X, which is 3 is to 1. Isn't that wonderful? We just used the barycentric coordinates to quickly find out the ratio of AO is to OD. Now, there is a very interesting theory behind barycentric coordinates. We use Shiva's theorem and Menelaus theorem to make everything concrete. So, maybe you can look into the Math Olympiad program at Chinda for more detail regarding this. We discuss it in more detail. Uh, but I will also provide another proof, just so if you, if you think barycentric coordinates are a bit too weird for you. So, this uses the midpoint theorem. So, let me just come here. So, here is the second proof the second proof and this was actually hinted at the uh, CMI entrance. So this problem is from CMI entrance and they, they gave, gave this one as a hint, this particular uh, proof that I'm going to use. So the hint was this, that draw a line through E parallel to AD. So this point is suppose M. So construction is Draw EM parallel to AD. Draw EM parallel to AD. Okay, now if we focus on this particular triangle, E is the midpoint of AC. EM is parallel to AD. Right? E is the midpoint of AC. EM is parallel to AD. So surely by midpoint theorem, M is the midpoint of DC, right? So, by midpoint theorem, midpoint theorem or the converse of it, M is the midpoint of DC. So, these two are equal. M is midpoint of DC, right? Now, let's use the triangle BEM BEM, let's use the triangle BEM. Here, O is the midpoint of BE. O is the midpoint of BE. And OD is parallel to EM. So again, by midpoint theorem, D is the midpoint of BM. So D is midpoint of of BM. So now you have this. Okay, so that's great. Uh, so now we know that BD is to DC is 1 is to 3, 1 is to 2. So you see that was actually uh, given also from the analysis that we were doing. This is 1, this is 2, 1 is to 2. Only then uh, the entire picture will be balanced about D, right? So 1 is to 1 is to 2. So D, what we know what D does. Now, the, the only thing that we need to find out is AO is to OD. So let's, let's come here. Let's paste it again. So we know that VD is to VD is to DC is 1 is to 2. 1 is to 2. 
one is to two and we know that AE is to EC is one is to one. So we are going to use Menelaus theorem on this triangle. Uh, actually, wait, on uh, yeah, on this on this triangle. So this was ADC triangle ADC ADC on triangle ADC. Apply Menelaus theorem. So if you don't know Menelaus theorem, you can look in look up look it up in some textbook of geometry. So what does it say? It says that CB is to BD, CB is to BD times DO is to OA times AE is to EC is equal to 1 or minus 1. But the, uh, we, just were, we are just interested in the lengths. So we don't use the signed sides. So the way I remember it is CB is to BD, DO is to OA, AE is to EC. So the one rotation is complete in some sense. So what is CB is to BD? CB is to BD, CB is to BD is 3 is to 1, right? Because it was divided into 3 parts, the entire thing is 3, so this is 1. So 3 is to 1 times DO is to OA, that's what we want to find out, times A is to EC is 1 is to 1, so it's equal to 1. So finally, I'll just cross multiply to get AO by OA, AO by OD, AO by OD is 3 is to 1. The same thing that we got using barycentric coordinates. So we can use the Menelaus theorem or we can use the barycentric coordinates. I think this is pretty awesome uh, that you can do a same problem in different ways. Uh, this video is created at chedda.com. We do math olympiad programs, physics programs, computer science, ISI, CMI entrance programs and all beautiful mathematics, mathematical science related work. If you are interested, you can go and check the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.